What's up, bro? How you doing? What's your name? All right, Lucas. Lucas, nice to meet you. Yeah. In week 10, Amon Ross St. Brown started his day by making someone else's. Yes, sir. Yeah, of course. What's your name? David. David, nice he to meet you. He just was diagnosed with cancer a couple of weeks okay. ago. Okay. Yes, sir. Of course. Way. Yes, sir. Yeah. For Amon Ra, that's what the game and life is all about, inspiring others. All right, Lucas. Take care, man. You got it. Nothing can stop you, all right? Nothing can stop you. Advice Amon Ra lives by. After all, his father wouldn't allow him to believe otherwise. At home, I'm dad. But in here, I'm the trainer. So there's no talking, no screwing around. Just going wall to the wall. It's all out. Oh, so we're drinking water now? What happened to the spit? We don't drink spit no more? They don't got so off to me? A lot of people come to the gym doing push downs like this. My mom does that. You gotta attack the iron. I know I'm a father, but I'm freaking Mr. Universe two times. I know what I'm talking about when it comes to this stuff here. Back in the 80s, John Brown was a renowned bodybuilder who won Mr. Universe twice and Mr. World three times. Once he retired, he became a personal trainer to three special clients. Amon was five years old, Osiris was six, Equinemius was seven years old in my garage. So look, son, boys, we're gonna start lifting weights, I'm gonna teach you how to work out. And then slowly but surely, they got stronger and stronger. The first step to victory on our way to the NFL, right? While dad focused primarily on strengthening their bodies, mom mainly focused on building their minds, starting with having them learn French and her native language, German. From day one, when they were born, I only spoke German to them, and even now we speak German to each other. Oh, here's the Blume, the Sonnenblume, the berühmte Sonnenblume. Can't you? Can't you gar nicht. Oh, he's berühmt. If we wanted to go out, we'd have to finish 10 vocab words. She gives us the word, and we have to give her back the definition. She somehow figured out how to like cut off our, <laughs> our phone, like text, data, and everything. Like, it would just be shut off if we don't do the vocab words. The St. Brown boys went on to attend prestigious universities. I went to Notre Dame. And I went to Stanford University. I went to the University of Southern California. Osiris's football career was cut short due to injury, while Equinemius and Amon Ra had a rough start to their pro careers. I was expecting to go in the second day, and then I got drafted all the way in the sixth round. But Green Bay, let us introduce you to Equinemius <coughs> St. Brown, the wide receiver out of Notre Dame. Amon Ra was the 17th receiver selected in his draft class. His disappointing experience resembled his big brothers. His grit resembled his father's. That feeling that I had, I can feel it right now as I'm speaking to you. I can name all 16 receivers right now if you want me to. Name them. All right, I'm going to go Jamar Chase, LSU. Jalen Waddle, Waddle, Devontae, Devontae Smith, Smith, Kadarius Tony, Tony Rashad, Rashad Bateman, 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 Elijah, Elijah Moore, Moore, wide receiver, Ole Miss. Rondell Moore, Dwayne Eskridge, Tutu, Tutu Atwood, well. Terrace Marshall, LSU, Josh, Josh Palmer, Palmer, Deami Brown, Brown Amari Rogers, Rogers, Nico Kong, Anthony, Anthony Schwartz, Schwartz, Des Fitzpatrick, Louisville. With the 112th selection in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Detroit Lions select Amon Ross St. Brown, wide receiver, USC. Both St. Brown brothers finally heard their names called, but it wasn't their full name. My name is Equinemius Tristan Emotep J. St. Brown. My name is Amon Ra Julian Haru J. St. Brown. Lengthy names for his boys wasn't enough for John. He also altered their last name from Brown to St. Brown. I knew to give them St. Brown. I knew it would be good on jerseys. And my wife thought, probably thought I was crazy when I'm sitting there going, it's going to look good on the back of a jersey, but I just knew it. He just did it. On the birth certificate, he put an ST in front of it. Rodgers takes the snap, pump fakes left, goes long, left side in the seam. He's got St. Brown circle, roots on top of number 40, 45, 50, down the left sidelines. Wow, what a play. After four seasons in Green Bay, Equinemius became a free agent and signed with the Chicago Bears in 2022. Flash sweep left at the 20 with blockers, 25, 30, 35, 40, inside cut to midfield. And that's a 41-yard play at the of St. Brown. In Motor City, Amon Ra flourished. The Vikings game was when I scored my first touchdown. That was our first win. Zero seconds left on the clock. I caught the game-winning touchdown. Caught! Touchdown, Detroit Lions! They did it! Amon Ra St. Brown in the receiving end! 
ever since that game, everything just turned around for me. Hey, St. Brown been going off, boy. Hey, he's nice. That boy, he be giving people business. How tough is that young man? I mean, he just does it all. It didn't take long for St. Brown to write his name into the Lions record books. So I broke the rookie record for most receptions and yards. An unusual brotherly connection occurred in week one of the 2022 season. Getting in for the touchdown, Amon Ross St. Brown. We got Amon Ross St. Brown and Equiminius St. Brown, his brother, scoring touchdowns just two minutes apart. St. Brown, St. Brown. November of 2022 marked the third time the St. Brown brothers competed against each other. Playing against my brother, I always had to go crazy in those games. That was like a, I had to. Okay, Chris. Okay, good, quick look. Guys, the thighs look big. The hamstring still looks big, boy. Hey, St. Brown, St. We're going to win today, bro. Come on, bro. We're going to win today. You already know. Hey, little bro, big bro. Little big bro. Yeah, little big bro. Equimini of St. Brown now motions back to the left. He'll get the hand off with blockers in front. Nicely done. Equimini bangs inside the line 15. Come on, man. Do it. The Browns were in the stands that day, watching their boys at the pinnacle of their profession. Not let my brother go off like that, bro. At the peak of their mental and physical strength. I'm as proud as any parent can be. Let's go, let's go. All three of them for what they're doing, you know, and what they're going to do in life. So the journey is not over, it's just beginning. Just growing up, you don't really see how valuable it was to have strong parents that were dedicated and had a vision for us, so I'm happy for it. Do it again, then we go. That's where we get our discipline from. My dad, he was very tough on us. You need to talk to your boys. If they're screwing up, you better get in their face. You better, hey, you the leader. You better fire them up, talk to them. He understands what it takes to be great at whatever you want to do. Should've caught that. You gotta time that. Thanksgiving day, we gotta put the work in. Without them, I don't think any of this is possible. We're super grateful. Sometimes I wake in the morning and say, I'm so happy, you know, so lucky. Everything is in a good place right now.